Alright, here's the review for the wardrobe room. Um, I just got this booted. The United States. Just a little um setup wizard. Um it allows you to install applications off your SD card. So do you have anything on your SD card that you want to install? Um I have it all in the back of the mobile network or Wi Fi. Um just ignore that. Alright, just awkward. Um, sign in. I'm gonna skip that. Wi Fi doesn't work on this, like, with the kernel for me. I'm really not sure why. Not sure why the kernel doesn't, like, allow me to use Wi Fi, but I, I just installed a different kernel. Get 25 gigs free. I already got that when I installed the Sense 4 on the Evo 3D. This is if you wanna set up any accounts. I'm not gonna do that right now. Hit finish. My cat's bothering me, so just to no way. Guys he's got big eyes. Um, and then you get this little welcome screen. Did he just sorry, he just ran into the thing. Um so quick tips, um no. You get a music widget. Get a people. Is it do you sizable? Yeah. So you can need three sizes. these. Um not even sure what that is. Um congrats on a new HTC phone. Thank you. You should send me something for buying this phone. What was that? Um, show me. These are just some little widgets that they include. Um, go to the app tray. The first time you click it, it kind of lags, but after that, it doesn't lag at all, so. Um, you got frequent downloads. You also get a little carousel. I think that's pretty cool, actually. If, like, you can still scroll, like, when you're like that on both sides. Um, it includes pretty much stock. Facebook, Google Plus. There's an app I saw that was in the, uh, like the start of, by the way. Um, pretty much the stock. You think it's Super SU, though, you don't get Super User. You get Super SU. Not really sure what the difference is. I just use whatever is on the wrong. You get Wi Fi calling, but when I go into settings, it says see Wi Fi is turning on. It never connects, so I I just installed the. I'm really not sure how to uh, say his name. F A U X one two three. Fall. I th I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I just horribly mispronounced that dude's name. Um, but I use his his kernel for the sense roms because his kernel seems seems to work the best for me. Wait for this to reboot to recovery. Probably would have been faster if I just pulled the battery. As you can see, it's still on. Waiting for it. Waiting. There we go. Isn't that kind of weird? I pay for soccer radio and I still get the ads. Go figure. But of course, once you pay, though, you can always skip. Go to wipe format. Go to wipe cache. Yes. I use for extension recovery touch. I just have a theme installed because I paid for the uh like the app from the Play Store. I try to support the, the developers like once once I have money. I bought that and uh titanium back up today. Not sure why I went so long without with with a uh, titanium backup not installed but um go to choose zip go to install zip first and choose zip then 
The current one I use is Pyramid ICS Sense 006 U. Does it? It's installing. Install complete. Hit the check mark. Back. Back. Reboot. Cat's knocking all my cords down. Um, reboot. Yes. Now wait for this to power back on, and Wi-Fi just should be like turned off, but you just toggle it back on. I think this has the coolest boot animation too, because it turns the sense and then the E upside down to sensation. I think that's pretty cool. That's just me though; it's personal preference. I like this phone in general. This is. This is one of the best phones to me. The front camera could be better though. But I, I use it to like record some stuff. But on the HTC Evo 3D that I had, it shot in 720p HD. I'm not sure if that was just a ROM or not, but it looked really good. Like when I was actually playing it, and like you could see. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Since I wipe the cache, it's got to optimize these applications, but... Look at the right side, you get to listen to music. You can skip this part if you want. My cat's chewing on my shorts, and I have no idea why. I'm being serious. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. If you want to, by the way, you can follow me on Twitter. Just throwing that out there. Go to my profile really quick. And follow that guy. That's me. You should, you should follow me. I have 40 followers. Come on, help a person out. I'm not sure if it's focusing or not. I'm just trying to do something while this is. It's it's almost done now. Two oh seven, two oh eight, two oh nine. It's two AM. Really not sure why I'm up at two AM recording this video, but two thirty two, two thirty three. Almost there. Come on. 236, 237, and starting applications. Once it first starts up, it says no signal, but it's just loading. You should probably know that by now. If you have a few flash realms. I have the best coverage in my house, so. Middleburg doesn't have coverage from anybody, actually. But see, the, the performance is just smoother. See, once you load, though, after the first time. And I go back to menu, settings. Before Wi Fi is turned off. But if I turn it back on, so this is, you know, you can make calls over Wi-Fi, so you can hit skip, and there's my, there's my, uh, network, yes, that's it, that sucks, that's just a neighbor, I'm not even sure, um, let me play my password really quick. And it's obtaining the IP address. All right, it's connected. Hit back. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the tweaks because that's kind of what this ROM is about. Go to tweaks. Um, 
It's got their Twitter. You can you can also manage a profile on here if you want to add your own. Just gonna scroll over to the next one. Um, this is the Wi-Fi calling thing. This is called status because it's about the status bar. You can do quick quick settings where like you don't like when you pull it down it it shows automatically quick settings. You don't have to toggle over battery options, battery textiles. You can also show the my UI battery bar at the top. Automatically color. I don't really mess with the color. I just kind of that's the my UI battery bar by the way at the top. You can change the color. This is a thickness. <laughs> it covers like the entire status bar. Go back. Um, hit back. You also have clock options, so you can have it in the center. I think it looks kind of cool in the center, but I'm just gonna put it back over there. But back to normal, you can hide the AM, PM. It's on 24 hours, so it's not gonna show. You can have the CM brightness curl where you slide slowly across. You can change the name, so instead of saying T-Mobile, you can make it say anything you want. Go to Sense. You can show the unlock animation, and you you can enable landscape. I'll show you like landscape. That's landscape for the and then the unlock animation. Well. It's just the uh, carousel. When you press and hold home, this is the recent apps that you get. Go back to lock screen. Um, you can hit OK to apply those changes. Grant super user. You, you have the AOSP lock screen, hide carry label, volume key. I like the volume weight so I don't have to reach at the top. But you also have slide to wake or sweep to wake. Um, Phone info, you can change the scroll color. Uh, do ICS. Volume steps, you can make it faster instead of. I like the noise that it makes, it's kind of cool. I want to do a reboot right now. Then you can fix permissions, zip line of ABKs. It's going to back out of that. It has to reload because I restarted since. The camera. You get the camera that's in the, like the HTC One series of phones. I think it's pretty cool and it works really good. Um, not really sure what else to show. Um, go into settings, go into about phone, go to software, Android 4.0.3, Sense 4, um, go back, you can see that I changed the kernel, if you can pronounce his name, you should, you'd help me out a lot, fo fa one two three double o six kernel, it works the best for me. Um, you also have the developer options. I like where, like, you hit show touches. Now you can see the touches. Well, I'm not sure if you can or not, but... If you want to see anything else besides... Go to personalize really quick. If I can hit it, go to personalize. Go to skin. I like using the, uh, dark skin. I think it looks best. The matte. Hit apply. See, it changes everything. I, th I think that looks pretty sweet. But that's just my opinion on stuff. And also the lock screen. You can see how the ring changed. I usually get the smaller clock because change the wallpaper and stuff. But that's the review of Orgeroid 8.5.2. If you want to see anything else, just let me know. I'm going to try a uh, Sense 3.6 ROM because I haven't really did a review for that yet. But here's my review.